Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along as I wind down for my nighttime routine pregnancy edition. Now that I'm in my third trimester, being very pregnant seems to bring up a lot of fun things, especially at night. So I've really found a routine that works for me and helps me feel my best and get the best sleep possible. Let's hop right in. So as you guys know, I am still working. I'm gonna be taking a mini mat leave, but I do plan on continuing to upload my regular videos. I'm in love with my new office space. If you watched, I did a whole new office tour featuring this back room and the makeover that happened. And it's just been such a calming yet creative space to really focus and get some work done. So I'm just finishing up some work, getting things done so I can end my day and start my nighttime routine. I also love just catching up with you guys on Instagram. I try not to be on it all day long, but I usually try to take, you know, some time here and there just to answer some comments and see what you guys are up to. I'm also all about the to-do list. Let me know, do you guys write a to-do list even after you've done the task? I do, just to make myself feel like I can really visualize what I did that day. Otherwise, I'm like, what did I do today? And so if I see it and I can check it off, it just makes me feel really productive and just a little bit better. I'm just slapping on some essential oils, my lip butter. and it's time to take out dinner. So I actually had leftover dinner from the previous day, and I love when this happens because I just don't have time to make dinner every single night, so I'm all about the leftovers, whether they're ones that I make or I steal from Mama Health Nuts house. Um, this was just a beef stew that I made the previous day, so I'm just gonna heat that up for Matt and I. I've been trying to eat my dinners a little bit more on the earlier side, just so it gives my body time to digest and I'm not laying down with like a full belly. I don't have a formal recipe for this because I kind of just made it up on the spot and threw everything in the slow cooker, but I do have a really yummy stew on the blog which I will link in a full blog post from today's video. And then I just sprinkled on some fresh chives from the garden and it was such a hearty and warming dish. I'm like craving this right now, just watching it. Just as good as yesterday. Leftovers are the best. Don't be fooled by this girl. She acts like she gets no love. She gets all the love, all the treats, but I think she wanted some of our stew. <laughs> all right, now I'm in the bathroom. It's time to wash up and just get unready. So I just have my comfy robe on. I love this robe. I will also link it in my blog post. Nothing like a really good silk scrunchie that you can just tie up your hair in a bun and you don't have to worry about it getting too kind of kinky and messy for the next day. So I've been testing out some new products um, that may or may not be launching in the next few months. Um, this is one of them. I'm loving it, so stay tuned. If you guys don't know, I actually have my own skincare line, Beauty Net Skincare, and we have some amazing products that you can check out on our shop, um, but this is a new product that I am testing, so you guys can kind of guess what it is. Um, but it is so amazing and I can't wait to launch it. I always like to test things for a while and then have friends and family test it just to make sure the product is perfect before actually putting it out into the world. Um, but I can already tell you, I'm, I know this product is gonna be so amazing for you guys too. I like to do a double cleanse at night, especially if I've been wearing makeup. So I'm just following up with a gentle cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's super gentle, natural, and it just gets all the gunk off my face. Misting with a little rose water toner. And then I'm taking some of my sea salt lip polish and just giving my lips a good scrub. It just feels really nice to get the dead skin cells off and I feel like it helps plump them up a bit and bring some blood flow. Following up with my lip butter. Honestly, I feel like I can't leave a room in my house without this. And tonight I decided to give my face a little bit more extra love. I got this fun charcoal mask in the mail and I've been really enjoying it actually. It doesn't get too dry on my face, but I feel like it really helps pull out impurities. I don't know why I look so serious putting on my face mask, but it's apparently a very serious task. 
I decided to take a bath on this day and throw in some Epsom salt and magnesium flakes and I just soaked in the bath while my mask was on. This has been really helpful for any body aches, um, my restless legs that I get at night and it's just really relaxing. So I've been all about the baths in my third trimester. Just taking a face cloth and wiping off all the mask. I personally love to get my nighttime routine out of the way nice and early in the evening. Otherwise, I just get too tired to do it if I wait too long. Taking out the big belly, it's getting very big, and just putting on my blue belly oil. I have a full IGTV video on how exactly I make this. I also like to put it on my face at night. It's so healing and soothing, and I've just been doing it for months, and it's really helped my skin. Finishing up with some eye cream, and this is a thick night cream that I like to put on my face for extra moisture. I don't do this every single night, but it definitely feels like a overnight kind of face mask that really just locks in the moisture as I sleep. When I wake up the next day, my skin is baby soft, so this combination has been really helpful for my skin. PJs are on and I'm just doing some hip rotations on my exercise ball, also known as a birthing ball, when you are pregnant. I can confirm that noise is not me, it's the ball. There are just a few stretches I've been enjoying doing at the end of the day that really just help kind of loosen up my hips, stretch out my body, um, since things are just feeling a little more tight and achy and it seems to be the worst at night. So I really like to just take a few minutes, maybe 10, and just stretch out my body. Sometimes I'll even do this while watching Netflix with Matt. I'll just try to find time to do it um, if I remember. Now is my favorite time of the night where I just get to get cozy with Matt on the couch, watch a show or a movie, and guilt him into rubbing my legs with my magnesium balm. He's such a sweetheart. He basically does this every night. My legs get really restless at night and he basically just gives me a little calf and foot massage with this magnesium balm, which really helps soothe and reduce the aching that happens with restless legs. Also your feet and calves just get really crampy at the end of the night when you are very pregnant. You can just tell in Matt's face how much he enjoys doing massages. <laughs> We actually just finished watching The Haunting of Bly Manor. Have you guys watched that? It's a little scary, so I wouldn't watch it by yourself, but it has a really good story and happy ending, so highly recommend that one. All right, as I wind down, I like to fill up my diffuser in our bedroom with some calming essential oils. I usually like to have them diffusing at least an hour before going to bed so the room is really filled up with the scent. I have some lavender, cedar wood, and orange and i love this combination it's really relaxing and honestly i feel like i get a better sleep when i remember to do this and it just adds a really nice ambiance to your bedroom and it smells amazing so it wouldn't be a pregnancy nighttime routine without a little late night snack this is a cereal that i basically have been making my whole pregnancy especially the last half all it is is puffed brown rice sometimes i do a mixture of puffed camu sunflower seeds berries a little drizzle of honey and some unsweetened oat milk. And I'm telling you, it just hits the spot every time. It keeps me satisfied so I don't go to bed hungry and wake up in the middle of the night like wanting something to eat. So I usually kind of situate myself in bed. I'll have my laptop watching some pregnancy YouTube videos. I've been really into watching like what's in my hospital bag, life with a newborn and just all those mommy content videos and I'll just have my snack and wind down with my oils diffusing in the room. And it's just like a really nice way to end my day. Of course, I have some water next to me. I'm always thirsty, which is probably why I pee like five times a night. I'm telling you, getting out of bed these days is getting so much harder. So if I remember to, I'll go back into the bathroom and brush my teeth. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'll have my snack and then just end up passing out, but I've been really trying to stay on top of my oral hygiene and make sure to brush my teeth before I go to bed, especially if I'm having a late night snack, which is like every night. Okay, so now I'm using my acupressure mat, which 
I swear by. I use it every night without fail. So I just lay it on my pillows. I throw on my bedtime essential oil blend. And I usually lay on it with like nothing on top, but for the purpose of this video, I have a sports bra on and I just lay on it for at least 30 minutes, but I usually end up falling asleep on it. And I'll just lay on this while watching something on YouTube. And it's just the most relaxing thing I do in the day. I usually end up just drifting off to bed and then halfway through the night, get up and I just like roll off of it and put it to the side, but it really helps give me a deep sleep. It also just helps really relax me mentally. I find it just helps zen me out. And also if I'm having any aches or anything, it just um, kind of relaxes that. So now is time for my pillow setup. I have a very specific pillow order. So I got my pregnancy pillow and then I stick the wedge in on the one side and then I have one of my smaller decorative pillows on the other side to support my back and it's basically just a little pregnancy cocoon. Sometimes I'm in bed before Matt or he's in bed before me. Um, it really just depends, um, but this is the way I've been relaxing and winding down at the end of the night pretty much every single night. And I am just in love with my nighttime routine. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned, all the links and photos and more info will be in a blog post. I will link that down below. And I hope you guys feel a little bit more relaxed. If you're pregnant, I hope you try some of these things out. They've really been helpful for me. And even if you're not, this is a great way to relax at the end of the night and just wind down. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night and I'll see you guys in my next video.